Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Bitwig Studio and Music Production. This is lesson 5.62, and in this lesson, we're going to fully, okay, when I say fully, I mean fully, initialize the FM4. Okay, so let's go ahead and load it up here. If you guys would be so kind as to actually maybe do this with me, it's going to help you out quite a bit. And we're always going to be starting from this really purely initialized state, unless I say otherwise, or we're building from a past video. So if I bring this in now and I turn it on, we know that FM synthesis, it's building block are supposedly sine waves and this doesn't sound like a sine wave. All right, so what I'm gonna do first here and don't worry about all the details, everything in here will make sense to you guys as we go through this. But for now, I'm just gonna pull everything down to zero which means I should be left with just a sine wave. But it's cutting off, and the reason it's cutting off is because this is our main amplitude envelope up here. We've talked about these in the polysynth. I'm not gonna review it. If you're confused, please go back and watch those videos. I'll pull the sustain all the way up so we get our gate message. All right, so now we're just getting a basic sine wave. We can hear that's tracking with the keyboard, so we know that Key tracking is enabled at least for this top value. But what I'm actually going to do here is really just strip everything back. I'm going to take all of the remainder of my envelope generators. I'm going to pull them all down. Okay, this isn't having any effect on the sound, but I am doing this to start. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to pull my modulation amount on all of these guys down to zero. So we still have our sine wave. I'm gonna turn off our noise generator, which if I turn it on. You can hear that we have noise. So I'm gonna pull that back. I'm gonna turn this off, open the cutoff all the way up, pull the cue all the way down, pull the drive all the way down, and pull the modulation all the way down there. So if we were to now hear the noise, it's just gonna be pure white noise at this point. Perfect, let's bring back in our tone. And now I'm actually going to do something a little bit crazy. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna pull all these values down to zero to start. And we'll still have our uh, sine tone, but I'm actually gonna pull this down to zero too. All right, so now you can see that we're actually getting level but that's because this is operating below an audible frequency range. So this is now really an LFO. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off all of these guys here. This isn't actually turning off like the wave, but what it's doing is it's turning off um, each of these working as an operator or as a modulator. Uh, and we'll talk about that in more depth later, but for now, this is exactly how I wanna start, okay? Absolutely nothing coming out of this thing. When we will start to get some frequency, it's going to be playing at that gate message. And this is perfect for what I want for moving forward. Again, I encourage you guys to do the same thing because this way, every time you do go in here and mess around, you'll know exactly what it is you're doing. So I'm going to open this up and I'm just going to go ahead and save this as Brian Anit. We can save that in there. We can delete it, add the FM4 back in. And now if I go into my presets, I can pull up that Brian and Knit patch. Great, so now we're ready to go with the FM4 and you'll hear from me again in the next lesson. Take care.